20th episode of the Bokucast with your lovable and handsome and awesome host, Bokusatsu. And, well, it's the 20th episode. Yeah, I never expect us, I never expect us to get the 20 episodes already, but holy crap, here we are. And, uh, well, we got a lot of things to talk about. Toku, some stuff to community, and a lot of, and a lot of good stuff, and some, t- some negative as well. So let's begin. Alright, let's begin. Shin Ultraman, uh, Okay, my dog. <laughs> Scratching my door. Shin Ultimate. Uh, I watched Shin Ultimate and I, I loved it. I know Joe Athy did. I loved it. It was so good. <laughs> Not perfect, no, but I loved it. <laughs> the first half was somewhat boring, I could say. Maybe fall asleep. But it got them better in the second half. And I think one of the best parts in the movie, from my opinion, is the dynamic relationship between. Shin Ultraman and his team, they're all good. And also, for those that watch Black Sun, uh, freaking Minami Cultural's actor <laughs> was, uh, was in there. Yes, Black Sun himself in there with, as the chief, and that was pretty cool. That was actually pretty cool, I can't lie. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, anyway, yeah. Shin Ultraman. What are my pros and cons? Okay, the pros, the cast did really good. The cast were enjoyable. Now, I haven't watched the original Shane Ultraman, so please forgive me about that. I went into this movie completely blindfolded. Blindfolded? I had not, I had not watched the video that Taka made to, to recommend like, the episode that this movie referencing, referencing. I had not watched this video on that. So, yeah. I went into the thing blindly. Well, me know the same thing about Ultraman, even though I know a few. I do, I do, I do, uh, get out, hold on. Even though I did watch like a few Ultraman shows. Yes, I watched a few Ultraman shows. I watched Z, I watched Orb, I watched Trigger. I'm watching Deck every, as we speak. Uh, I watched Z, Z, I watched Rube, and I watched Trigger. Yeah, and G as well. <laughs> so yeah, those are those are those are only those are only ultra ultra shows I watch. <laughs> I do want I do want to watch more, but I don't know why. I did want to watch Ginga last year, but at the same time, I heard that Ginga wasn't the best. <laughs> so that so that made me not want to touch that show. But if you know like any Ultraman shows. Besides the one I mentioned, please comment down below. I, I, I like to watch some. I like to watch some new Toku this year. <laughs> yeah. So man, back at Shane Ultraman, I loved it. I had my issues with it. So back on my pros, the cast was wonderful. I really did enjoy. I really did. Uh, I really do uh, actually like a lot. Huruko, Huruko. Hiroko, the female, uh, the new member of the Shin Ultraman team. I like her a lot. She was, uh, she was awesome. She was funny too. <laughs> but I do have a problem with, the, with her, I do have an issue with the movie with how they treated her. Why the, f- why the freak was Japan being so horny for this girl? Like, for real. Do you really have to sexualize her like in every fucking scene? Like, don't get me wrong, okay? Let me let me say this. I put, I do love me. I do love me. Well, oh, I love. Well, I like girls. Like, oh fuck! Of course I do. <laughs> I love seeing beautiful girls. I do, but don't get me wrong. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to have a crush on someone. On a fictional character, that's totally fine. Hell, I do too. I have a crush on a lot of fictional characters. But like, what the hell? Why the hell was that movie sexualizing her way too much? Like, no, for real though. Like for real, she she can sexualize way too much in the movie. They were showing many scenes of many shots of shots in the movie of her with her skirt. I'm like, really? I came to watch an Ultraman, not seeing a. a Gorgeous, beautiful, thick Asian woman on my screen for the whole movie. Now, I came to see Shane Ultraman, not her. <laughs> well, to be fair, Shane Ultraman's ass is pretty thick and gluteous. 
So yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, that's a. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Oh god, I'm gonna get canceled for saying that. But whatever. So back on saying, yeah. Why? What was the point of doing sexualizer? It was pointless. I know Japan. The Japan has a weird fetish with that that need to be taken care of. It's sad. It's actually pretty sad and disgusting. Because she did not while watching the movie I'm like, okay, why are they showing off her why are they showing off her skirt a lot? And her legs. Like, listen. Listen, look what wrong. Don't go around. She was beautiful and attractive, yes, but at the same time, I can't watch an Ultraman. Not her. So what was the point of that? Just saying. Like for real. Just saying. What was the point of that? Oh, there's no point? Japan just being horny is always not surprised. I'm not surprised, to be honest. I'm not surprised. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Uh, anyway, yeah, overall, Shin Ultraman, good visual, good cast, good soundtrack, and I love the message that the movie get, give. I didn't watch I, again, I have not seen the original channel. I have not seen the original Ultraman. I know that this movie is, I know, I know this movie is the retelling of the original Ultraman. But, as a, as a non-Ultraman fan, even though I do watch a few Ultraman shows, but not a lot, I will say this movie is good. It feels like, it feels like the whole time it's paying an homage to Ultraman. Instead of trying to feel like a an actual movie, movie, but it's not. It's not, not I'm saying it. I say that in a good way, not a bad way. But it feel like the movie just pay a huge homage to the franchise for a 55 anniversary, and I like that. So here are my here on my negatives. Well, always said one down about about this, about about our female main female protagonist being sexualized with much in this damn movie. But, uh, the pacing in the first half was very really boring. Yeah, I fell asleep. Like, I literally almost fell asleep for the first half. It was so fucking boring. <laughs> and, if my, uh, if my freaking, if, if my eyes didn't wake me up. Wait, what are you talking about? So, when I, when I saw the movie, I almost fell asleep. But, uh, when, but when the first half ended, the second half saved the movie for me. A lot. Yeah, that's good. The first half felt boring. Like I like the introduction, yes, but the but the pacing felt boring. Like I was watching like a three hour or five hour movie. It felt like I was watching James Cameron's Avatar two all over again. And I don't really like that movie. That that movie was just so boring for me. And uh, yeah, that's just uh, that's just that's just, that's just like that's just like my uh. That's just like my like negative, I can say. Oh great. Okay, that's weird. Um okay. So so sorry to hear that. So sorry you hear that. But yeah, the the pacing just felt weird. Like it just felt weird. Like it just felt boring, I'm trying to say. It just felt boring for the first half. So overall, besides that, Shin Ultraman. If you like, if if you're an Ultraman fan and if you love the original Ultraman, then this movie's for you. But for people that aren't, but for but for not Ultraman fans, if you want to see this movie, then well, that's totally fine. No further, that's no further. That, that's totally fine. If you don't want to go see this movie, again, if you like Ultraman, then go see it. But if you don't, okay. I heard the dub. I heard the dub is really good. Yeah, I saw a sub, so it's also that too. <laughs> so yeah, Children's Man, I give it an A minus. It's a it's eight out of ten for me. Is it better than Avatar two? Yes, it's better than Avatar two, and I don't care what no one said. It's, uh, well, yeah, Shane Ultraman is better than Avatar two, so don't at me. So, hey!
anyway, so anyway, back on to that. Let's talk about Abba Ranger. <laughs> oh boy, Abba Ranger. We're talking about Abba Ranger for. I rewatched Abba Ranger last year before 2022 ended, and uh, fuck. I have a lot of things to talk about. And it's the, it the perfect time, too, since this year is the 20th anniversary for the show. And the movie's coming out this year as well, and that's pretty cool. So, Abba Ranger, what are my thoughts on it? Well, okay. First time I watched Abba Ranger was like, when, when the fuck was this? When the fuck was this? Five years ago? Wait, I think six years ago? Five or six. Yeah, well, I'm trying 18, pretty much. So, I already, so I already knew about the I already knew about there be a Sentai of Dino Thunder the effect that Dino Thunder had that one lost and found episode. And uh <laughs> that episode somewhat introduced me to Alba Ranger, I can say. Somewhat. Around twenty eighteen, I went to Wizard World Comic Con around I went to Wizard World Comic Con and uh this guy was selling Sentai DVDs. If I remember, he had, I think he had, he had Gal Ranger, Hurricaneer, Time Ranger, I forgot what else he had there, and uh, he had Abba Ranger. I bought, uh, my dad made me on Cheap Dream 1, and uh, well, I, I, get, I got on Abba Ranger. I came home that one day, after the con, watched half it, and I went back to it. Until 2020, I rewatched the whole, I rewatched the whole show, start to finish, and I loved it. And, uh, <laughs> My and after that, my memory, my memory, my memory with was like a little bit fuzzy with with with, well, with what characters, and what with what stories about. So uh, when Shout announced last year that uh, Operator is going to be on DVD, I was excited. I was like, wait a minute! Once Operator comes out, with after that, Shout's going to release Decker Peak, <laughs> Decker Ranger, and we all know how I feel about Decker Ranger on my channel and my. And on my social media, so you ain't know how excited I was for that shit. And yes, I have the DVD on pre-order, and I will be doing a review for that. I will be doing a review for that fucking show again. Oh, I did one last year, if I'm not. It'll, fun fact, that was my first episode, too. But, uh, who know? If you guys want to hear me do, do like, a fucking, like, what? A long hour podcast to talk about Decker Ranger. I'm fucking down to do that. <laughs> so, Brad, I was saying, yeah, Abba Ranger. I rewatched it last year. Fuck, goddamn, that shit was peak as fuck. God damn it. <sighs> Mak Makado, Abba Killer, Peak Six Ranger. I'm sorry, but this motherfucker, Peak Six Ranger. The whole time I watched, I'm like, oh my goodness, this guy. This guy, this fucker, pretty much, this fucker's pretty much giving off Black Force energy. Shout out to DJ Champ for that. But, uh, this, this fucker is pretty much Peak Six Ranger, and I can't with him. He literally is Peak Six Ranger! I don't care what no one says! That, no, it's fact, he's Peak Six Ranger. This, this, this is the same guy. This is the same guy who pretty much tell... The freaking Evo, Evo, <laughs> Evorian. Yeah, fuck off. Get out of my body. But guess what? I'm immortal too, apparently. Yeah, he is. He's immortal, apparently. He was immortal this whole entire time, apparently, due to the fact that uh, he had uh, the the freaking main villain in his damn body. <laughs> Evorian, did call? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy. I swear. I swear. If there's like a if there's like a six range of death battle, blah 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 nah nah Abba Killer's winning. I don't care, nah. Abba Killer's coming out of front. Hell nah. I'm sorry, nah, nah. You can't kill this motherfucker. You can't kill this motherfucker. This shit that shit won't work on him. You can't kill this mother you can't kill this guy. I'm saying anywhere. Who? My bad. You can't kill this guy for fuck's sake. So moving on for Abba Killer. Let's talk about the other kid there. Ranu! I actually like Ranu. He's actually underrated in my opinion. I don't see a lot of people talk about Ranu. 
Shout out to my friend Psycho. I know how much he's getting excited to watch Opera Ranger all over again. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, but for real, uh, Ranu, I like Ranu a lot, actually. She's pretty, she's pretty cool. She's not, she's not on Jasmine level, no, but she's up there in my top five favorite Yellow Rangers. Ranu's cool. Underrated, but cool. Also, it's cool. Also, it's also. Also, it's it's actually exciting. To, it's actually exciting to see that her actress came out of retirement just for this once for the movie. And fuck yeah, I can't wait. I fucking can't wait. God damn it. Opera Rangers. Opera Rangers. My third favorite Sentai. And uh, fuck. Seeing the whole going to see the whole cast game for this movie. Uh, it gonna it gonna release the Opera Ranger fanboy inside me. I can't wait. I actually can't wait. <laughs> I actually can't wait to be honest. So anyway, like I'm saying, yeah, Ranu, she's totally underrated. I don't see a lot of people talk about her, and she's cool. I actually think that I actually think that I actually think that she might be way cooler than Kira. But at the same time, I like Kira, but still, but, that, but that's just my opinion. I like Ranu and Kira for two different reasons. Kira, well. Kira is a uh, Kira is a childhood memory, childhood crush of mine, and childhood favorite of mine was a kid when I watched Dino Thunder. Ronnie is a badass badass girl boss yellow. Who doesn't give no shit. Her fucking god damn it, I was really f I was actually rooting for her the whole time. I was rooting for her the whole time when she's helping Oscar get past it freaking my girlfriend was brainwashed, trying to kill me multiple times. Story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Oscar, I fucking love this. I fucking love Oscar. God damn it, Oscar's awesome. I'm sorry, but uh, when he, when he, when he lived, when he freaking saved his girlfriend, Makoto. Fuck, I I was rooting for this guy. I was rooting for a guy. I'm like, I'm like, let's go, Oscar. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That, my, let's go! Oh, I'm rooting for him. I'm for him. I was actually rooting for him, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm rooting for this man. He's so cool. He's so cool. I like him. Oscar's awesome. He's no Tommy, no, but Oscar is a Oscar's awesome. Oh yeah, Oscar is awesome. Fuck. <laughs> This man, this man convinced me that he's in my, he's in my top five favorite Black Rangers, and he deserved to be up there. <laughs> so, so, so let's talk about, so let's talk about, let's, let's talk about Sanjo. Yosko Sanjo, A.K. A.K. My favorite, I can say favorite character, yeah, my favorite character in this show, besides Abba Killer. Makoto, Makoto, Nakoto. Besides him and Yoga, oh, I, I got a lot, I got a lot of good things to say about 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 that dad. <laughs> Sanjo, I fucking love Sanjo. I fucking love Sanjo. Sanjo's cool, okay. Sanjo's cool. Sanjo's awesome. He hates. He pretty much began the show just said f off, all you guys, leave me alone. He's pretty much my. Well, watching this, well, we watching the show. I said to myself, "Damn, put him in the same room with Hakari, Hakaru from uh, Tokyo, and those two fuckers would be good friends. Cause those two do not care for no one else, and I love that about those characters. And you all know me. I'm not the biggest Tokyo fan, but Hakaru, I fuck Hakari. I fucking love Tokyo Green. He, he was the best part of that show, in my opinion." So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Sanjo, he's cool. I like Sanjo. I love his I love his intro song too. And I love the fact that yet I love the fact how yet they sing they put that song on in the same episode that uh he confronted the dad the revise and Nin Ninja dad. Yo oh, oh you didn't know? Yeah, uh, apparently I'll probably know I'll probably not let me know but uh the dad from uh the fake dad from Revice and and uh, Kakaharu's dad from Nin Ninja. It was an Abba Ranger. 
Apparently, that's the first time he appeared in Toku. From, from looks like on the wiki, even though the wiki, even though the wiki, uh, even though the wiki is not the best place for, uh, for getting information. Just saying. So, uh, yeah. So Sanjo, I like Sanjo a lot. I like all these characters, but I don't hate none of them, including the villains. So yeah. Now let's talk about Yoga. Oh god. AKA the most underrated Sentai Actually no, the most underrated Toku Dad in my opinion. You got your Busters, you got your Toya, you got your fucking Evo, you got your freaking uh Go Drive. You got you got Dan not not Dan Koto. You got Gam not Gam, fuck. Not Gam wait, hold on. You got your crow nails. <laughs> What the fuck? What other evil damn we're forgetting? Oh yeah, Hirobi! You got your Hirobi. You got, well, yeah, that's it. So. Soho, what do I think of this man? I fucking love this guy. I fucking love this guy. Okay, hear me out. Let me, let me, let me tell you why. Ryoga's awesome. Ryoga's awesome. Every time we watch Operator, I'm like, God damn, I fucking love this guy. Besides him being a freaking, besides him being a damn dad to my, to my child, this guy deserved Father of the Year. And fuck, it's so cool. And yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He was in Double Two. To be honest with you, I didn't know he was in Double until like after my rewatch. But uh, the fact that I the fact that I'll be seeing this lovable bastard again really soon. In fact, when the movie comes out, it gonna bring up the fanboy in me for, for it gonna bring up the fanboy in me for Alba Ranger. I fucking love this show. God damn it! There's something about Alba Ranger that I love. It's not Dino Thunder. No, that's the thing. It's not supposed to be like a American counterpart. But Alba Ranger feel like that type of show. I can relax and sit down and have a fun time watching. Hell, you can even make a drinking game out of watching this show for all the stupid shit that stupid shit plot that the Rangers do. And it's funny in that way. Upper Ranger Upper Ranger is a special Sentai for me. Mostly because I wa mostly because I found I watched this show around I watched half of the show around twenty eighteen. And I still have the freaking pirated DVD to Fade Day by Yes, I bought a bootleg DVD of this <laughs> back in the day. I still have it, by the way. But uh, I still have that. But him, but still. Alpha Ranger. Alpha Ranger will always be that special Sunday to me. Just like Decker Ranger is. And Cure Ranger. But Alpha Ranger was there. Alpha Ranger was technically the first Sentai. Well, kind of first. My first Sentai was Jew Ranger, but technically it was by, by okay. My first Sentai on twenty fourteen was Jew Ranger, but 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 but, but. technically logically my first Sentai actually was Alba Ranger on twenty eighteen, since I bought the DVD. So yeah, but yeah, Alba Ranger is special to me. It holds a special place in my heart, and uh, fuck. When I get a girlfriend one day, when, when I get a girlfriend one this day, I want to tell her, hey, uh, this, hey, there's a show, there's a show I wanted you to go watch, and, uh, I think, I think you'll love it. It's called Bakuyo Sentai Opera Ranger, and, uh, one of my favorite Sentais, and, uh, one of my, one of my favorite shows in general. Here's my DVD of it, you can, uh, borrow it. <laughs> and, uh, it's really good. I, I'd recommend you to go watch it. And fuck yeah. <laughs> Day when I get a girlfriend, well, the future is a dark place. So I'll just have to wait till that till that day happens. But yeah, back on the same Bob Ranger. I love the show. I like the villains too, don't get me wrong. The villain the villains are funny. <laughs> Including the freaking two <laughs> Oh god, I don't know I don't know what the hell to call those two. Okay, I call them Trudeau D and Trudeau. Trudeau D and Trudeau Dumb. Those two are fucking idiots, but yeah, I like them. They don't feel like Yes, they're monsters, but at the same time, they don't feel evil, evil, evil. They're just clumsy. And the fact that, uh, 
that same episode. In fact, that one episode, they went down to Earth, hanging with all the high school girls. I'm like, bro, really? Really? No, none of these high school girls are scared of seeing their pants that they see two monsters? What? What is this? What? What? Sorry, what the freak am I watching right now? I thought I was an operator, not some type of high school J drama. Oh, to be fair. To, to be fair, I'm technically watching a J drama. But still, what the freak? <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> what the freak? What the freak? What the freak? Okay, 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 okay. Ay, ay, ay. So, can we talk about Makoto? Aka, Asuka's arch enemy slash girlfriend slash wife? Well, yeah. But to be fair, my boy, to be fair, my boy got somewhat cucked. I say that in a, in a sad, in the nicest way because the fucking main villain literally took his girl and literally put his sperm in her. And they made the fuck. God damn. I, that, I can't faint that sentence. Well, god damn. But don't worry. My my, my boy Oscar got the redemption as it is. He got the family that he wanted. So hell yeah. He's a father too. Hell yeah. I love that guy. They even referenced the continuity in the Bullkinger vs. Super Sentai movie. So yeah. Oscar. Oscar's awesome. Yeah, back to say about Mikado. I like Mikado. He's cool. She was cool and funny, and every time she was on screen, I was like, "Okay, I'm interested to know more about this about the subplot between her and Oscar. Why they why she hate him? Then you find out why. And uh, well, damn, just damn, damn, <laughs> just damn. The power of love will conquer all. Apparently, in Opera Ranger. Well, where's my love? Okay, I should I should be I shouldn't be taking shots at my at me in my love life. That's just stupid, but still. Hey, for content, I guess. Mm, yeah, no, 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 no. So anyway, Alba Ranger, highly recommend it. It's a good show. And if you love Power Ranger, Dino Thunder, if you love like Kiryuja, if you like Jew Ranger, I'll say Alba Ranger probably the better Sentai. Yeah, you know, all them, all three of them. In my personal opinion, I like Curious. Look at my Curious are in my Curious in my top five, but Opera Ranger, I like way more because it's, it's, it's a special Sentai. So yeah, and also my fucking goat, the goddamn bastard himself, Nasuka Akawa. This fucker wrote that damn show, and he will be returning for the fucking V Cinema, by the way, he'd find that V Cinema he's speaking, he'd be like, okay, 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 how can I get Broku's good side now? Wait, just wait, he cannot be there for the Decker Ranger one as well, he was there for Go Kaiser. he could be there for Decker Ranger, and I will be watching the, the 20th year after Decker Ranger movie. <laughs> So yeah, no. Speaking of decorator, okay, let's talk about decorator for. Let, let, let's talk about decorator. For those that don't know, last year it was announced on show that uh, they're releasing decorator on DVD. And well, we already knew we already knew it was about to happen. And uh, fans' reaction when they saw the case, the cover, it was not good because they had SPD picture. But here's the thing. It was the unofficial version. It wasn't even fully fixed yet. And guess what? They fixed it. They fixed the cover. They they fixed the cover though. So we're all good there. Now people can stop whining and shut up about it. And I say the I say the nicest way to fuck it. Yes, I know the fucking cover. I know I know the main five suits aren't from Decker Ranger, they're from the S P D picture from the Shout Factory box D V D. But here's the thing. Let's be honest for a second. Do you guys really care? Let's be honest. It's the same fucking suits. It's the same fucking suits. Let's just deal with it. Let's just shut up and be happy we have Deck Ranger coming on DVD. That's it. Hell, I'm happy. This is coming for me, a Deck Ranger fanboy. And yes, I know the cover ain't a 10 out of 10. I don't care. I can take whatever. 
I'm just happy that my favorite Sentai is coming out next month. Around Valentine's Day, by the way. And yes, I will be watching that because I have a special video about Deck Ranger that I need to go do next month. It's about a certain female on the team, so yeah. So, uh, oops, sorry. So, yeah. so, yes, I will be. Yes, I'm excited for Deck Ranger. And yeah, I know, the cover ain't a 10 out of 10. So what? Let's just do it, guys. Let's just do it with it. Let's just do it with it. Let's just do it with it. Because for fuck's sake. These are the same people that whine about the damn cover, but yeah, at the same time, they bought the fucking Miyuki DVD, and that cover ain't even all that good. No, I'm sorry, it's fucking not. Look at the Kruger and Zero One cover. Like, look at the Kruger and Zero One cover. Those look decent, alright. But well, well, Kruger, Kruger look better, in my opinion, than Zero One's, but still. Look at those covers. And look at the, look at the fucking look at the fucking covers of all the Sentai DVDs that came out the past years. Some look bad enough. Yeah, Gal Ranger is probably the best one out of them all, in my personal opinion. Same for Cocky Ranger and Hurricane Ranger. Hurricane Ranger kind of meh, but still, I can give a, I can give a less a shit about it. All I'm all I'm just saying is this: shut up. Enjoy your enjoy enjoy fifty episode fifty fifty episode fifty three. God damn it! What the hell? I'm a I'm a I'm a deck ranger fanboy for this. Enjoy watching like fifty three fucking episodes. I think fifty three. I gotta go back and check. But uh, shut up. Enjoy watching nonstop action next month of of seven, eight, six range eight rangers who are eight. Rangers, who are badass cops, who are, who, well, who, well, are fucking goats, to be honest. I'm trying to say this, shut up, stop worrying about the damn cover, just be happy that we're getting decorated, that's all. And I, here's the thing, keep in mind, once this, once this DVD sells good, well, it's going to, we'll get Magi Ranger and Bo Kinger. And, I, well, I want Magi Ranger, and I fucking need Bo Kinger, because Bo Kinger is one of my favorite Sentais. Except for Magic, so I'm definitely getting those two for sure. Ay, ay, ay. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. And also, just want to point out, next year, the 25th anniversary for Decker Ranger, so, we already know Toei got something in the, in the, in the kitchen cooking for Decker Ranger fan, aka me, mostly me. I'm a Decker Ranger fan, we all know this. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, so, yeah, that's all I want to say for that. But, yeah, I'm still excited for Decker Ranger. I just want the community to stop whining about about the damn cover. Yeah, it's not perfect, so what? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. We still bought the fucking DVD, even though the cover's not perfect. And, like, when I first saw the cover, I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I knew that Shout's going to fix the cover. We just gotta give them time. Look at this! Lord and behold, they get Lord and behold, they fixed the cover. They fixed the four pictures. Now people can stop whining about about the damn cover. I should I just fucking hate the community at a time when they're whining about a damn cover. Nope! Can't talk about it now? Okay, 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 let's, okay, let's talk about this. This is recent right now in the community as we speak. Now I haven't watched a video from Penny for for what from look, what it looks like for me from what the reaction got community. One of the one of the tray tray, one of the fucking uh character one of the three tray from the from the Go Ranger tribute. One of the tray actors, one of the actors that played Trey from Power and Zeal, aka who was written on Go Ranger. Was being a piece of shit to Austin St. John about what? I don't honestly want to walk out here. He was using he was like mental illness, injury that passing to attack Austin St. John, and trying to convince people to don't go to Ranger Star anymore because Nakia Bari and Catherine Sundell, aka the actress that plays Tanya, Nakia Bari, and Kat, Catherine Sundell, for not paying. 
Okay, first up, I don't believe that. That's bullshit. Fuck up. Those two seem like beautiful, nice women, lady. I want to meet them so badly. No, no, no joke. I have planned next year to go to Paul Morphicon, and, uh, if I meet them there, I want to take pictures of them badly, because they seem so cool. And the key of the week, someone know who I am. She knows me one time on Instagram, a long time ago, and, uh, that's pretty awesome. I didn't, I didn't tell no one about this, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah, that did happen one time. It's pretty cool. So here's my whole... Here's my whole two cents about the Gold Ranger drama right now on Twitter. In the community. I don't care. Just, I don't care. It had, it had like, nothing to do with me. Just move on. You don't even say, okay, that's fine. Just block the fucker. I don't care. I really don't... I really don't freaking care right now. Because, here, here's the thing. Here's the community. This this shit's going to this, this shit's going to be fake. This shit's going to end when end like like what two days from now? It's gonna be like oh okay so no one remember the Gold Ranger drama okay oh damn it was that fat for drama god damn yeah just ignore a guy just fucking ignore him he just wants attention that's all he just wants attention. He just want fucking attention, and you guys are all giving it to him. As someone told me this, I'm gonna say this to. I'm gonna say this. Do not antagonize him. Thank you very much. I'm sorry if I'm being loud. Be real. Do not antagonize the guy. Can you keep doing that? You're gonna be feeding into his ego. Yes, he made a dumb video for for a dumb reason. Don't get me wrong. I don't like Austin St. John. The guy, the guy, the, the guy's a scumbag. But I'm not gonna talk about him. Just don't fucking give in to the fucking after the page tray video. Stop talking about the Gold Ranger. Just stop. Just stop. Stop antagonizing him. Just stop. Move on. Like, I guarantee you guys have like way better stuff to do in your life besides, besides freaking making like damn Gold Ranger treats or posts on social media. I'm not calling no one out, by the way, for saying it, but still, come on, guys. Let's be real. Let's be real. We have way better stuff to do than making, like, treat nuts out about about who the cool, who the bad Gold Ranger. Like, fuck sake, guys. Really? Really? We just started 2023. And this is our first drama that took the immunity? Really? Nah, no. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Speaking of drama, I do I think I want to talk about something really soon, but no. Now, just, just move on. I don't care about the Gold Ranger drama. It had nothing to do with me, so moving on. So, uh, okay, this is gonna sound weird. This is gonna sound pretty weird for saying that, but uh. I was really, I really wanted to save this for last because I have like a lot of stuff to talk about. But uh, I'm gonna say it here. I have a, I have an issue with this community as a whole. Oh, what's your, what's your issue, bro? Cool. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I want to say this, and that's really possible. But. I need the community. I need the. Com- I need that community not be biased anymore, and, f- and pray favor toward content creator. And I say that in the nicest way possible because I've been noticing a lot lately that uh, smaller creators like myself and many others don't get a lot of good. Don't get like a lot of notice in the community. Big creators, but bigger like bigger like freaking tough creators like okay like. Okay, like get out of your name. Uh Mark Usatsu, Hawk Curlies, uh fuck, uh Jen, Prime War Heels, or Living Ranger Key. They get like they get like oh, fuck, how can I say it next day about well sound like well sound like a jerk. Okay. They get like they get like more like better treatment we can say. Well let uh, yeah, I'm over here like I'm over here like wait a minute. Where's this love for small content creators? Like, for real though, I'm sorry. No, this had to be said. It had to be said. K 
Can you talk to the cup community to stop playing favoritism for fuck's sake? God damn it! Ah, oh, God! Okay, 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 okay. I love the fact how yet yeah, when I make a treat about a new video, it did not get a lot of likes or a lot of retreat. But no, if like, if like Jock lived from, if like, if like, okay, let's say Mark Satsu. If Marcus starts to make a damn tree, sorry, I should say that like that. But if Marcus starts to make like a tree about Conrad or something, it'll be like what two thousand and four hundred likes and retreats. I'm like, really, 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 guys. So, so you're telling me that uh, if if he made if he if he made like a tree about a new video, it'll be like what two thousand views. 2,000 retreats or 400 likes, whatever. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, I'm over here. I'm over here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see. I don't get the same treatment. And I know, and I know I'm not the only one, though. It's annoying. I'm sorry. No, it's fucking annoying, though. I remember last year we made someone made a treat saying that we should give, we should treat the community, but we should treat small content creators the same way as big content creators. I'm like, okay, you say that, but I don't see it. I don't fucking see it. I don't fucking see it, though. <laughs> I don't. I don't see it. I don't see a, I don't see a love for that. Like, for fuck's sake. So, I don't, I don't see the love. I don't see the love for that, to be honest. This is coming from me. And let me say this. I'm grateful that uh, I was in like a lot of videos last year for podcast interviews. And I'm fucking happy about it. Don't get me wrong. Shout out to all the shout out to all those people who had wanted me on their podcast. They're, they're cool guys. So, <laughs> so so yeah. But still, I don't see this. I don't. I'm not. I'm not Marcus. I'm not Marcus Satsu. I'm not Josh and Louis Ranger Key. I'm not Hot Kill Lee. I'm not Jennifer Pond Horn Heroes. I'm not a big fucking Toki Tuber. I'm a fucking African American guy. I don't know why I'm playing race cards. <laughs> no, I'll take that back. I'm a 22 year old guy. That, I can't say it. Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. I'm a, I'm a Toki Tuber who talks about fucking toys. And, yeah, at the same time, People are so damn picky when it comes to watching like certain people's content. Like, oh, okay, this video's not Toku. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm like, okay, yeah, thanks, thanks for that, thanks for that. That's a wonderful. Not like I bust my ass off for twelve fucking days working this damn video. Like, I'm sorry, no, for real though. Last night I uploaded my freaking Goku Black versus Aaron video. And I check, I check to say, okay, you know how many views like this video got? Zero likes and thirty-two views. Really, really, just really, thirty-two views, like really. By the time of recording, I guarantee it's way higher. But but this, this happened last night for the record. And I'm over here like, why the fuck? Why, 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 why though? Just really, for fuck's sake, people are picky when it comes to freaking like for freaking being biased toward token content creators. Like for fuck's sake, it's annoying. It actually is annoying. I can't stand it. Like, I'm a toy viewer, right? Hell, if Josh really Rage came made a fucking tree about 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 I don't know his neck like his neck review for lightning collection, it, it'll get away my views. Meanwhile, my treat, my treat, my treat won't get none. You gotta love favoritism, am I right? It's annoying. It's annoying. I hate it. I do hate it. Because, okay, last year, okay, last year, Marcus Sauter asked people, Marcus Sauter asked people who want to be down to join his History of Bill video. I said to myself, you know what? You know what? I feel confident. Let me go DM the guy. I DM him. He ghosted me. 
And then I find out that uh, he that I find out that I that I find out that uh, he would fin he he would fin in part three. Yep, I got ghosted by everyone's favorite Tokusatsu YouTuber. By uh, by the way, no beef toward Marcus Satsu, but I'm just I'm just pointing this out by saying that it's just it's just fucking stupid. It's just fucking stupid. A non-big content creator has to be a non-big content creator has to join your video, and what happened? You ghost to him. You just you just ghost to him. Like, if anyone wanna do a collab with me, just DM me. My DMs are open, and I'm down to join. I'm actually down. Just DM me, okay? My Twitter DM and Instagram DMs are open. <laughs> so yeah. And don't worry, I'll put all I'll put all that I'll put my social media in the description. So, yeah. But still, but still though, that's just that's just no, no. You don't do that. <laughs> you don't. You gotta stop this. I hate it. I hate the community for being damn biased when it comes to content creators. And I'm not the only one who's seen. No, I know I'm not the only one who's been seeing this type of shit. Oh, I'm just gonna talk about this too. Let's talk about this fucking poll. I hate polls on Twitter. When it, when it comes to certain when it comes to certain token content creator, I'm not gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about delays when that happened. Cause my God, that poll. My God, that poll was so fucking biased as shit. <laughs> oh my goodness, favoritism at its best. Okay, first off. Why the fuck? And why the fuck why not on the Decker Ranger site? Second Ranger, the Decker Ranger part of that damn poll. Hello! Have y'all met me? I'm a Decker Ranger fanboy. We all know this about me, I am. But still. And why the hell was my boys and girls and non binary friends not on the poll for their favorite part for Sentai and Kamen Rider? Really? Just really? Just really? Just really? Just really though? Really though? Because. Because guess what? I'm happy that uh, I'm getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of attention now. I mean, I'm grateful for that. I'm freaking grateful for that. But uh, at the same time, at the same time, when you're when you're a bigger content creator. You should technically recognize the smaller content creators as well. Just saying. And that's a part of the community because you say you say last year that uh we should we should we, we, we should respect and appreciate all content creators, big or small. But yeah you don't practice you don't practice practice what you preach. And that's a problem. You say this, but yet you're not preaching it. And that's an issue. It's fucking annoying. No, for real, it's fucking annoying. For God's sake, I don't have like I don't have a big fucking platform. I don't make damn like comedy videos like every other YouTuber. Hell no. I'm fucking unique and different. Hell, I talk about toys. I have a podcast about Tokusatsu. I talk about non Tokusatsu stuff on there. Hell, I literally just made I literally just uploaded like yesterday. A fucking 22 minute video that took 12 days to make, by the way, because due to the fact that the video was delayed because of a fucking flood in my house, which, which wasn't fun. And yet, that video right now is not getting a lot of new, not, not getting like a lot of retreats or attention on Twitter. Because it's not Toku. It's fucking annoying. I hate it though. I hate it though. I fucking hate it though. People need to stop being damn picky when it comes to. God, oh God. I don't know why I'm cursing so much. I'm sorry for my cursing. But I hate it though. I actually do hate it though. People need to stop being freaking picky when it comes to. When it comes to like you're not like a content creator. It's annoying. It's annoying though. It's annoying. You need to stop. What the hell? I'm not no DMAZ, but at the same time, 
I'm not no Jock Little Ranger Key. I'm not no Long's toy. I'm not MMPR toy. I'm not. I'm, I'm none of those toy reviewers. So why the hell do they get way better treatment? And yet, meanwhile, I'm over here like, really, really, we're at the same level of my shit because I don't see it, and then it's really pissing me off. Just saying, it's annoying. It's really annoying. It's really annoying though, and that and that really need to stop. For real, for real though, no joke. That really need to stop as we speak. Now you can disagree with me. That's totally fine. You can agree with me. That's totally fine as well. That's fine and totally fair. I'm just point. I'm just pointing out what it is, what it is, and it's just frankly not doing not doing good. <clears throat> God, I oh, God. <laughs> Oh god. I've been keeping that inside I've been keeping that inside me for two days now, trying to think about how how, how the hell I wanna say all that, but I think I think I think I got it out perfectly. Okay. I'm gonna say this. If anyone I'm gonna say this. I have a Discord too, by the way. And uh I will put in the description fault send me a friend request because well again I'm down to I'm down to hang out chat or talk to anyone. Again, I'm down. I'm down for be part of a collab video for this year. I am just uh well, DM me and let's DM me and let's talk about whatever for this video. <laughs> and don't worry, I won't ghost you guys. So don't. So there's also that too. If, if I'm busy, then well, that's well, I can't control that. But still, I won't ghost you guys. So anyway, back on those saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, the community, the community, for I want to say, for I say that, I'm not calling out none of my friends who are, who, are, who do this, no, not their fault, no, I'm not calling them out, no, I'm just seeing, I'm talking about the whole community, at, I'm talking about the whole community in general where I see the bias and favoritism toward bigger kind of creators that aren't getting, that are, that aren't getting the same as small content creators. That's real. Small content creators aren't getting that much love. But, yeah, they aren't, yeah, they aren't getting that much notice because, of, because well, they aren't big content creators. And that's just annoying. And that just needs to stop. Just saying. Now, I don't make, now, I don't make no history of comrade video. I don't make, like, freaking light collection videos, like, other people. I don't make like Reddit videos. Hell no, I don't do none of that shit. I'm a toy reviewer. I talk about Tokusatsu action figures, like Lightning Collection, SA figure art. Hell, I do some non Toku stuff as well. But still. But still, it's just annoying. Everyone should be treated the same way as content creators, and the favoritism isn't helping. And that needs to stop. <sighs> anyway, moving on from all that BS. So, uh, I'm thinking about going back into fighters. Why fighters? Well, <laughs> the last time, the last time I played fighter was 2019. And like, the last DLC that I bought from fighter, yeah, it was the Gogeta and Broly DLC. Holy crap. And after that, I just stopped because, well, about I had like no energy in playing video games anymore, but uh, lately I've been rewatching a lot of old fighter videos from Rhyme Style, Diadoya, Diadoya and uh, Siriax, and I'm like, damn, damn, their video made really made really make me want to go back into competitiveness, into competitive competitiveness. That that is well in Dragon Ball Fighters, and I remember I was, I was pretty good with Dragon Ball Fighters in the old meta, not the new one. <laughs> I'm not covering a new man, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But still. But still, I'm, I'm thinking about going back into... I'm thinking about going back into competitive for Fighter. If I do a live stream for Fighter, will you guys be down for that? I'm totally... I'm totally down for that, to be honest. Well, why not? <laughs> why not? So, yeah. But, uh... What else can I talk about? Oh yeah, how oh yeah, how my week? Well, if I, if you didn't hear from my freaking rant, 
My uh, my basement got flooded. Yeah, it got flooded last week. What happened? Well, that's what we. Well, I'm gonna keep that one a little bit on the low, but yeah, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. Now, don't worry, not flooded anymore. We took care of it. It's all clean now. The basement is clean, all good now. But uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know that wasn't the best. That that wasn't the that wasn't a good start for 2023, unfortunately. So yeah, and also the last the last two days, the past two days for me haven't been the best because fuck it, I really want to quit where I work at. I fucking hate that place so much. Oh my goodness, god damn it! I work in retail. I work in a I work in retail, and let's just say where I work at. God damn it. That place really want that place really made me want to turn into a giant freaking great ape and throw a freaking goddamn giant key blast at it. Oh my goodness. I hate that place so much it really drives my gears. <laughs> Why? Well, customers are annoying at time. At time I'm always I'm always left alone, even though even though my freaking boss manager just ditched me for no freaking reason and I'm like oh that's oh that's just great oh that's a great oh yeah that's that's a great just that's a great just leave me up here all alone while you're over there okay that's just great yet they do that for like for like what two or three hours yeah 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 definitely I love being up, I love being up here all alone but yeah be like yeah it need to stop because that's fucking annoying that's literally fucking annoying, though. God damn it. Uh, it, it's really... <laughs> sorry. It's really annoying, though, and that that needs to stop. That's, that, for real, that just needs to stop, to be honest. Oh, God. I, f I fucking hate that place. Excuse me, Lane Rich. I'm sorry for cursing, by the way. I'm sorry for cursing. Susan did not demonetize my video, but to be fair, to be fair, I don't have a thousand subs, so I can't get demonetized as we speak right now. But, uh, hey, subscribe to the channel. With my goal, my goal, my goal, it gets to a thousand subs. So, yeah. But still, I'll, I'll try I'll try to control my cursing. I'm just, I'm just so mad. I'm just so mad right now for saying all that. But, yeah. So I I did say I didn't say this, but uh, what are my goals for this year? Well, I tried to make a video on it, but uh, the video but the video didn't save unfortunately, and uh, it crashed as well. But my but my goals for this channel for this year is to release like Toku and non Toku content. I have like a lot of figures that I bought last year. I haven't done reviews on, and I'm planning on changing that. So I expected like a lot of reviews from so I expected like a lot of toy reviews that came out last year. Like a lot of figures that came out last year that are gonna be reviewed by me, like shit, I bought I bought like a lot I bought like a lot of figure arts for Comrade. I bought like a lot of Comrade figure arts and uh shit. They did not all they they all did not have like video. Some more than others, but still. So yeah, I'm probably going to review for figure art next essay. Figure comment Revy or Vice. I'm gonna do it to a separate video because well it well it can save time on my phone. And two, I two I really don't I really don't want to do it. I really don't want to do a long ass video with both of those two in the same video. So yeah. So, yeah, my next my next like figure review probably gonna be on Revy. So yeah, <laughs> you know. Oh boy, I got a lot of things to say about that figure. I'll move my hatred for Revive aside when I talk about that figure, so don't worry. So yeah, there's also that too. And uh, this year I want to find a way to bring guests on on my podcast. I gotta find. A, I gotta go find. I gotta go find a way how to make that happen. So yeah, that will happen eventually this year. Don't don't know what type of guests I'll have on here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and find a way to get that to happen. <laughs> So yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's great, and uh, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And uh, oh yeah, I want to bring. I want 
to so last year my last video I made for 2022 was a non token video go Gia vs Jiren and that video did pretty good Look, I, okay I'll be honest the grammar shit in that video I could have done better I could have done better could have fixed a lot of errors but uh the video was a success apparently a lot of people love that video and I and it took me like three days in fact no joke it took me three days to work on that video and uh I'm happy that it came out pretty good so because of that I decided out for for this year, I'm going to release a lot of non-Toku content. So, expect a video very soon of me reviewing the Super Dragon Ball Heroes 9th Anniversary Bam Presto Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta figure. It's a statue, but I will be talking. Will be, I will be reviewing that. So yeah, <laughs> and yes. A Ban Proto figure, here's the thing, my relationship with, my history with my Ban Proto figure is fascinating because I had an addiction to them all the way back to like, shit, uh, fuck, yeah, uh, all the way from, uh, <laughs> all the way from, uh, 2019 to, wait, wait, like what, 2020? I think 2020, yeah, I think 2020. It was well in my high school year, I freaking, I freaking, I freaking became addicted to them, you know, they were addicted for sure, you know, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was, that wasn't the best, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wasn't the best, <laughs> so, yeah, I have, I have, I have my, I have my Xeno Goku right next to me, next, right next to Vegeta. I do have print pick up Gogeta, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah. If you don't know, I've been in a Super Dragon Ball Hero Crave. So, well, mood, but still. Also, oh, fun fact my uh, late video, my Amber's Goku Black video, paying all mods to my channel for like, like five years. So, for those that don't know, the video is somewhat paying homage to my original sh to my original mini series I did a long time ago on my channel when I first made this channel. The f the channel was first called a long time ago. Oh my goodness, I remember the fucking name of this channel. Dokkan King, aka okay, Dokkan God. Fucking hell, it changed way too many fucking times. But yeah, that was the name of it. <laughs> Darkin, the fuck's Darkin? Oh god. Then came Black Suit Spider Man, then Super Vegeta Blue, and uh, then Stop Motion came, and now uh, then became, well, Bokusatsu. And here we are today. So, the video was paying, no, so the video was paying homage to my channel for five fucking years, by the way. I had this challenge in 2017 for the record, so there's also that too. And uh, the the few videos I made a long time ago when Fred made a channel was a mini series called Aaron vs. Goku Black. And the lore. Basically, Goku Black killed, oh uh, well, my character, CAC, from the universe 2, Aaron's wife, Scarlet, and Aaron wanted vengeance. That pretty much it. <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know what? You know what? I haven't done like a 6,000 600 subscriber special. And by the same time, I want I want to do, like, I want to do something I want to do something like Dragon Ball Heroes related, while paying homage to my channel. I said to myself, you know what? How about how about for the next video? Is is Aaron, current Aaron, time patroller Aaron, Zeno Aaron, my first Goku Black, and uh yeah, that and uh yeah that video was uh, that video that video took twelve days again. It was delayed due to the fact that my house, well, my my basement got flooded. A little, unfortunately, it was supposed to come out. It was supposed to come out last week, but I didn't come out. Again, my basement got flooded. I'm not using I'm not using that for an excuse. So yeah, but but still. So yeah, because of that, I had to work hard and uh, took me yeah, it took me twelve days. Took me 12 days to uh, upload that bad boy, uh, to work on that thing, and it worked out pretty well. There are a few things I could have done better for the fight scene in that video, but still, it's pretty good. 
I think the best part of that video is basically the monologue and when Gift the Black saying, Oh wait, here's the thing, Zamasu. It's not about who's stronger any day. That's the biggest downfall of the fight. I've been fight my job at time floor is to go through like the multiverse is non fucking stop. Also I can fight strong people. And because of that, I got stronger. And the fact that you're losing to me, a mortal, who has the power of God, yeah, yeah, you yeah, you have a freaking mortal body. If you're really saying something, that's sad. <laughs> and boy, Goku Black was not having it. <laughs> Watch my new video, you can literally tell when you can literally tell when uh when you're fighting when he was fighting Aaron. Goku Black was getting mad and mad about how the hell is this mortal beating me. And I'm over here like, dude, 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 you killed his wife and his family. His first wife and family, by the way, right in front of him. You wouldn't think after five fucking years, he wouldn't have, have enough to train and beat the shit out of you. Like, he literally, he literally trained non-stop ever since you killed his family to beat your ass. And he, well, he did that. He killed you. And now Broly appeared out of nowhere in the end of my video, well, to be fair. Okay, to be fair, I actually do have plans on uh, making a Gojira for the Broly video, but I'm gonna wait on I'm, I'm gonna wait on that because I'm still drained from work so drained from working on that on that on my new video for twelve days, so yeah. So uh <laughs> yeah. Go check out my go check out my Amber the Goku Black video that just came out today. Well last night. It's really good. Really well, really good storytelling. It took me, it took me 12 fucking days to work on that. And yeah, I'm pretty, pretty grateful for how it came out. So, yeah, boy. Enjoy the video. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So, let's talk about King Oja, shall we? And I have a lot of things to say about King Oja. Alright, just get out of the way. I'll, just, just get out of the way. I don't like the suits. I don't like the suits. I don't like the suits. They get they're giving me a saber vibe, and that isn't the best. That, that that isn't the best vibe because we all know what how saber was. <laughs> if like saber, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. That's fine. You can like saber. Well, I'm just I'm just saying this in my opinion. I don't like saber. Well, we all know that, but still. The suits are giving me saber vibe, and, uh, and that isn't that, and that isn't the best for me. The mech, the mech look cool, but yeah, I'm not like fully, I'm not feeling King Orchard right now. Well, mostly the fact that uh, mo mostly the fact that uh, I think Toby Trey is over hyping it as we speak, and uh, that's that, and uh, they need to. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get canceled for this episode, but this has to be said. This has to be said. You guys, you guys, we should not, we should, we should lower our expectation for King Oger because the last time that the Tokyo community did not lower the expectation, they got mad as hell when when it was revealed that that the Cuban suits were gonna be in Cosmic Fury last year. And uh, and yeah, that wasn't the best. I'm over here like, I'm, I'm over here saying, I'm laying over here like saying that. Well, to be fair, this is this is your fault because well, one, one, you you like you like one, you like your expectations get the best of you because Simon said most of the time that those suits weren't gonna be in the show, but he's saying nothing about the max. So yeah, but yeah, nah, 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 no one listen, no one fucking listen, no one fucking listen. That's the problem with the community. They, that, that's the problem with the community in general. They let the expectation take over, and, and after they get disappointed, they're not happy. And that needs to stop. In fact, that really needs to stop. And I've been seeing it a lot. And right now, King Oja getting the same treatment, and I don't want it to. We still have our expectations low, low for King Oja, and that's it. Like, look at what I'm excited for a new Sentai, but still, right now, my expectations are very low, like two percent low, as you speak. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's a problem with the commute, with, with the token community in general. And I really do hope that uh, they I really do hope that everyone, I really do hope that it be, it, 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 
I hope that it can be fixed. I really hope that people should stop doing that because it really is probably getting annoying if we speak. So yeah. So yeah, moving on from King Oger. Uh my thoughts on Jeet. Uh I'm loving Jeet as you speak right now. If that's a good that'd be really good. <laughs> that like more revise? Well, that's debatable. That's not the bad one saying I didn't like Revice. Yeah, I like it more than Revice, I can say right now. Even though I'm not, not the biggest fan of Takahashi when, when it comes to past on Kamara shows. Just saying. But, I feel like Jeet... I feel like Jeet is a mixer of Kabuto, Decade, and Blade. And it, work, and it works pretty well because I love all those shows. Yes, I know. I did. I know. I, know. I criticized Kabuto on my channel, on my podcast. But still, I still like the show. It's in my, it's in my top ten, as we speak. So, uh, so uh, yeah. So yeah, though. Uh, so yeah. Jeets. I'm out. Jeets. I like your Jeets as we speak. Very good. Tycoon KY. He's so much favorite character in the show. God damn, I fucking love this guy. Nago, I fucking love this girl. Ace, he's cool. Buffa, he's alright. <laughs> I like the new, uh, like the new addition to the characters. I like Loop. Loop is cool. I see, she seems awesome. It seems, it seems uh, well, she's a tough girl, but as Spike Spiegel said, uh, <laughs> why am I gonna say this? But okay, that's it. As Spiegel, as Spike Spiegel said, it, I love it when I love it when a woman can kick my ass. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I think I, I think I have a thing for strong women and tokusatsu in general that are like around my age. God, fuck. God damn, I've been seeing this shit a lot. Okay, so, okay, so this all happened, all happened, we get all big game with fucking Jasmine from Decker Ranger. <laughs> then we got, fuck, then we got, uh, Sion Sena from Cure Major. Then we got Naname from Hurricane Sakura from Bokinger. <laughs> You got Monica from Gone, Escape from Ghostbusters. <laughs> God damn it. I fucking do that. Can I say hear me? Yeah, fuck it. Let's say hear me as well. Hear me? <laughs> oh god. Okay, okay, I'm not done, not done, not done. Let's go to Comrade right now. Let's go to Comrade. Right so, okay. So let's, so, so let's, uh, so let's add Shuri from Blade in there. Let's add Winko from fucking Wizard in there. Who else? Who else? Okay, let's add Aguilera from Revice in there. <laughs> God, God damn, I need help. <laughs> Who else? Yeah, Valkyrie. But to be fair, I like you, uh, but at the same time, I think they are really dirty. And you, Takahashi, the sexist bastard, should not, should have learned better. But to be fair, it seems like that he, seems like that he learned his mistake from Zero One. He's doing good as right now for Jeet. Yeah. That's good. I want I want him not to treat I want I do not want him to treat any of the female characters dirty in that show. So yeah. So uh so uh, yeah. <laughs> what other females do I like? Oh yeah, fucking uh fucking my toy me Masuri. Fucking Masuri. Okay, go pink. I fucking like I fucking love Gogo Five. God damn okay, let's talk about Gogo Five for a second. So, last year, a friend of mine, Psycho, recommended me Google 5. I watched it. I fucking loved it. It was peak fiction. And I watched the movie, like, last week, too. And fuck, that shit was peak. I forgot that shit was, that shit was peak. I'm sorry, but Google 5, Google 5 got me on a good side. I watched the whole show, like, god damn, I fucking love this show. <laughs> what the fuck is, what the fuck are these episodes? And Dina's? Oh, girl, oh, okay, you know what, Dina. See, better than Viper, and that, that comes from me. I'm not the biggest fan of Viper. I find a character boring and light speed. I like the actress. The actress is gorgeous and attractive, but the character. The character, Viper, and light speed rescue? Rescue? She's boring. She's boring. Moving on. Dina's better. I like the villain more in Gogo -Go 5 than the American counterpart. I didn't like. I didn't like Queen. Queen Banchero, cause she was just fucking annoying. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, who else? Uh, 
Olympus, yeah, no, Olympus can fuck off. And Prince Olympian is just annoying as shit. God damn it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like the villains in Lightspeed. They're just boring. They, they didn't do that much for me in the show. The second counterpart are way better, cause god damn it. They were, god damn it. I fucking love, uh, fuck, what the was name in Lightspeed? Damn, I totally forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I said, I, I, that, that's actually sad, I rewatched Lightspeed last year as we speak, and uh, fuck. Diabolical, yeah. Uh, Diabolical, so that kind of part, I fucking like him way more, because, well, because, well, um, he seemed like an asshole, but at the same time, at the same time, he felt like a honest, humble, loyalty big brother, and I fucking love that about the guy. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, let's, so, let me tell you something. I fucking love Goku 5. And, uh, the Rangers? Fuck, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Let, let's talk about the Milkman himself. Fucking Diamond. I fucking love this guy. God damn it. This guy is awesome as shit. First, it took me a few episodes, but I'm like, you know what? I have a, no, I can't realization. I fucking love this guy. And I thought I would hate him. No, I fucking love this guy. His big chair, damn anime energy. I fucking love this guy. I can see why. I can see why. I can see why Psycho. I can see why my friend Psycho likes this damn guy. Also, yes, I know what happened to the actor, and, and I'm happy. And I'm fucking happy when I saw that reunion video they did of him. God damn it! And the fact that none of them wanted to do a reunion without him. Poo how. Poof, so much fucking respect they have. God damn it, I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Diamond's awesome. He's the milkman of the show. Yes, he needs milk. You see Kelsey? Fuck no. He's better than Kelsey in my opinion. But so I like Kelsey, but but for but for, 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 for real though. Diamond awesome. Show Oh, go green. He's alright. I like go he's alright. He grew on me in the end, but at the same time, he's alright. I like his girlfriend more, uh, Kokochan. Kokochan's awesome. She's cool. <laughs> Not gonna yeah, my favorite kid in the show. God damn it, the fucking goat. Okay, you know what? This bastard literally. This bastard literally. Literally fought. Literally. <laughs> this bastard literally fought the main fucking villains in this whole show. Non stop. I'm like, God damn it, this guy. Okay, you know what? I fucking love this guy. And the fact that and the fact that he made to piss them off non stop, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I fucking love Nagia. Yeah. Nagia's yeah, a goat. <laughs> then we got a my then got my toy, aka Go Red. AKA at my friend said the Vendizo of the family. <laughs> and yep, yeah, he actually is the Vendizo family. <laughs> Put this, put this fucker in the same room with uh with Vin Diesel and goddamn it, those two, those two be good friends. Hey, yo, listen, I need someone, I need someone to do a, I need someone to do like a damn, a damn remix with uh with the Google Five song with uh with the freaking with the freaking Fast and Furious song. It'd be over again. And yeah, but no, that song, that song paying tribute to Paul, that song, that song paying a tribute. To, I know, I know, I know, but still, I fucking love this song. I fucking love that song, but still. But still. <laughs> uh, 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 no, I'm not saying. So, who else can I call? Oh, yeah, Go Pink. Matui. Me, Matsui. I like her. She's cool. No, for real, she's actually, she's actually my top five pink. Besides, besides, her, besides her and Dina having mobile cat fights. <laughs> uh, she felt like the mom figure of the group, even though... Until a lot of times he didn't, he didn't give a damn, but no one's bullshit, and I love that. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Who else is that? Hey, the dad, that's cool. The villains, the, again, the villains are way better than the, the American counterpart, in my opinion, but still. I'm sorry, I love Goku 5. Fuck Time Ranger. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Well, I'm gonna piss a lot of people for saying that about Time Ranger, but still. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. No, let's talk about Kamari for a second. So, okay, okay, let's talk about Kamari for a second, shall we? Uh, should I say that? Okay, you know what? Fuck it, why not? Since it's Ryuki's 20th anniversary, 
I won't be, uh, well, I think we need to train in the first. We're not going to say this, but why well, I don't like the show in general. As much as I joke about it on Twitter about why I hate the show, I actually do hate it, but still. I find the show, in my opinion, boring because, like, nothing happened when I was watching it. When the second we watched, uh, around like, around like the 30th episode, it hurt in my head so badly. Like, no joke. I was literally getting ready to scream. And then I, then I talked to my friend, and, uh, I said to myself, you know what, fuck it. I'm turning the shit off and never went back to it. I never did. I never did. And yes, I watched Ryuki. Fucking, I watched Ryuki two years ago on 2020. When COVID hit, and, uh, the first time watching it, I fell asleep to have the show. Why? Okay, I'm But why? Oh, uh, boy, I fell asleep and that didn't happen. Then I rewatched it last year. I tried to rewatch it last year. I saw one of the what? The episode of Zelda and his fucking ex assistant. And, th and that episode made me. That episode made me quit the show. It came so, so bad and hurt in my head. I said, no, fuck this show. I'm not going back to it. And I never did. I never did. And hint, that's why Boku Sasha don't like Ryuki, because I think Ryuki is probably the most mediocre color show I ever watch. That doesn't say much, because, well, fuck. I don't like O's. I don't like Fives. I don't, I don't, Forze, Forze, it's just, you yeah, know, I don't care for Forze. Don't like Gaim. For a reason, I have a reason why I don't like Gaim, but I'm gonna keep it myself. But, uh, what else? Well, what else can I talk about? Do I hate ghosts? No, I have to like ghosts funny enough. XA, not my cup of tea, so yeah. Bill, I fucking love Bill. Zio, not my cup of tea. Zio 1, decent. Somewhat decent, I'll say. Saber, hot mess, moving on. Revice, disappointment for me. Jeet, if, jeet, I like Jeets. I like Jeets. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. When it comes to my taste for Kamen Rider, it's, it all depends on, in my eyes, these three things. The quality of the show, the decent writing, and the acting. And all it, it, and if a show like that caught my attention to all that, I'm like, God damn, okay, no, this show's in my top ten. And, uh, yeah, fucking Black Sun was this last, I'm sorry, okay, no, I shouldn't be talking about Black Sun right now, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but... But this was Black Sun last year for me, and, and man, to get on my top ten. It's number six as we speak, but that's a crew guy, and fuck, it's so good. If you ever want to come around Black Sun, I highly recommend it. I tell Amazon Prime as we speak. It's really good stuff. And, uh, and yeah, though. <laughs> yeah, though, uh, yeah, Amazon, uh, <laughs> yeah, though, uh, Black Sun's cool. Black Sun's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have anything else to talk about, to be honest. Like, for real, I have, I have nothing else to talk about, to be honest, for this episode. I want talk about everything I need to do. Talk about. Oh, yeah, Dawn Brothers. Dawn Brothers is almost over. And, uh, wow, shit. I'm gonna miss that show. I actually am gonna miss that show, to be honest. And, uh, fuck. I was just waiting for the Operanger cost to come up with that, but yeah. Don't worry, it's almost over though. And uh, shit. Damn, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna be like a bitch, though. Excuse me, language, but. But yeah, Don't Worry is what's decent. It's still a B tier sentence, in my opinion. While, while it's in Kaiju and Kiermage and more, Don't Worry is still a B tier sentence. Very good, very funny. The only issue with the show is that it doesn't feel like I have a plot, to be fair. Most of no way most of no way's past work in Tokyo doesn't have a plot. Shows like Fies and Kiva. Egito has a plot at the same time, but still. Uh, but still also I'm biased because I like Agito. One of my favorites, so yeah. So so yeah. But overall besides that, Don't Brothers is a really good show. If you want a show that's like wacky and stupid, this is Don't Brothers. I will say, I didn't like the last episode because I felt creepy. And if you know, you know why I say that. Not gonna spoil the show, but the last episode really wasn't the best. It was just creepy and disgusting. So, yeah. 
Inoue, buddy, buddy, Inoue, you need help. That's all I'm gonna say, you need help, buddy. You just need some fucking help. <sighs> so, yeah, guys, uh, shit, yeah, what, 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 what else can I talk about? Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, shit, nothing else. Yeah, nothing else, though. Or, or talk about enough after this. I forgot, or talk about enough as it is, though. We talk about the community with the expectation, the favoritism that is annoying. We talk about Opera Ranger. We talk about Google 5. We talk about Kamen Rider. <laughs> we talk about King Oger. Shit, though. We talk about the future of my channel, what's going to happen this year. We talk about my, my latest video. Damn, I talk about a lot of things. <laughs> it's been one hour? Holy shit. It's been one fucking hour since we record. God damn. <laughs> but yeah guys, that's yeah guys, that's that's all for that's all for about this episode of Blue Cat. The twenty the twentieth episode. Yay Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media description because well, I'm trying to get a channel to one thousand before the end of the year happens, you know. Bring you guys help, we can finally do that. That's one of my goals for twenty twenty three. So yeah. Keep the notification on for my next video, which will be a toy review. So yeah, i probably again yeah, it's probably gonna be on Revy or uh, on Lane Collection. One or two. But yeah. <coughs> or not hook video. Just, I have two I, I have a lot of toys, so <laughs> I can't keep it all with them. But uh yeah guys, thanks for listening to this podcast. If you wanna see more, again, support this podcast, like, comment, subscribe. We treat this podcast multiple times on social media. And uh yeah guy. My name Boku or Aaron. And um I'm out. Have a nice night. Peace.